how China is changing Hollywood. Do you know the last time you watched one of those blockbuster movies, blockbuster Hollywood movies, they were probably funded by China. So what is going on and what's happening to Hollywood? All right, Dan, Jenny. So we went to watch Transformers 4 together. Mm. It was a great movie. It was a blockbuster. Yes. Had a lot of audience watching it. I gotta ask you a question. <laughs> what was one of the things that you noticed about the movie? That's really M more, more than movie. one, multiple things. <laughs> you know, where's the UFO and then drinking the Shuhuan milk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very awkward uh, kind of commercial advertising there. And what else? Yeah, like a few different scenes. Even the I think one is about the the car, yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. another one is they were fighting uh, also, in the park. Yes, yeah, in the park, yes. Yeah, the park. like kind of like a nature kind of park. Yeah, and, and there was then... also a jewelry store, Look Fook, right? I saw the Look Fook. <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty interesting. It's a mm -hmm. jewelry company from Hong Kong, okay. right? Yeah. And also, I think there was a, also a little, uh, not a bus, a, a train where the Transformer was going through it, mm -hmm. and then it was like Victoria's Secret. <laughs> right, it's got a little bit of that for like split of a second. Think they pay money for that? I think they pay money for that. <laughs> no, hell, I'm sure yeah, they pay definitely. money for that. Most yes. definitely. So what is happening? You notice in Hollywood, even now from before, like we're talking about back in the Bruce Lee days, and now we have Jackie Chan, and then we have mm. Chow Yun Fai, Fat, we have uh, Jet Li, mm. we have now Donnie Yen. They all going to Hollywood, and you notice in Hollywood, maybe it's maybe it's a stereotype. Mm -hmm. Somehow that the the actors who made it big in Hollywood, they're all action stars, right? Mm. They're all action mm. uh, fighters. So not just actor, but action. Why is that though? I think Star Wars Bruce Lee. Yes. Right. Yes. Because um, always uh, Western people, they always have this thing about Chinese kung fu. <laughs> yes. So they naturally think Chinese people they are really good at it's fighting. True. <laughs> it's true. It's <laughs> Somehow. True. And I think also you know the Chinese culture, the Chinese people, they take a lot of pride into being good at you know martial arts. Yes. Yeah. So that's something that they know that they can contribute and yes. always brings a high level of entertainment to yes. the movies. And then it's mm -hmm. also I think it's funny when I was going through high school. Even at, at, at the time, I didn't know Chinese, Chinese Kung Fu yet, mm -hmm. but people thought I know Kung Fu because I'm, I'm a Chinese. <laughs> oh, Kung Fu, you know, <laughs> eat rice and you know Kung Fu. It's Rubusli, yeah, right? They do that kind oh, yeah, of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the way they think of you. Uh, good and bad, because sometimes they it don't mess you around. It is funny because right? I remember when I was in elementary school, and I think I was one of the three Asian kids in the school. Yes. And I was the only one with one other friend who, who spoke a little bit of Chinese, mm. right? So then I remember going to school and there's one of the kids said, hey, do you have nunchucks? Can you bring some nunchucks to school tomorrow? <laughs> and you want I'm some like, chopsticks with that too? <laughs> honestly, at the time, I didn't even know what nunchucks are. I'm yeah. like, what are nunchucks? Are they like chopsticks? Oh. He's like, no, you know, these kind of things where you like twirl them around. I'm like, I don't have those. <laughs> and I was remember remembering, I was like, this is so awkward. Yes, yes. Yeah. As a girl, right? Yeah, As a girl. definitely. So that, that's how they think. So, but in terms of what's happening in, in Hollywood, you notice maybe a lot of blockbuster movies, like we're talking Transformers, a Mission Impossible, we're talking Fast and Furious. You notice in the beginning of the credit, it shows mm -hmm. a few companies from China. Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening in terms of why now, now Chinese companies or corporations from China, they're, they're funding these uh, big blockbuster, mov but blockbuster movies, why is that? I think for Star Wars, um, right now, the real estate industry in China has kind of really become really hard. And mm. then I wouldn't say it's dying, but then because more um, difficult to make money. Really, really, really difficult because the land, they're very limited and then they cannot afford more land. And mm -hmm. then the price mm -hmm. just gone up so much and then a lot of companies, they cannot do this by themselves. They have to work together. So for the big company like uh, Wanda Group, so they are- what, The largest in the China. The largest in China. They are yeah. basically start selling their expertise other than and buying more land. So mm -hmm. they can co cooperate with this company say, mm -hmm. I do the management, but you guys provide the land. So mm -hmm. we do this together. Yes. And then in a way, I think with the policy of the government changing right now, um, they are looking for the next generation kind of the future business industry, which is probably not going to be real estate anymore. It's going to mm -hmm. be entertainment. 
Mm. And I can also see because the whole retail, the way people shop and buy has changed. Mm -hmm. So before they go into shops, and but now a lot of stuff they buy Alibaba online here, it's eBay oh, yeah, it's and crazy. it's Amazon, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think in China they noticed that, so they want to. That's why they build these mega mall, but which really is around food and entertainment. Mm -hmm. yes. So massive theater. Right. Which is Wanda Star. Wanda Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, they kind of came up with yeah, that concept. Small, small. There's a huge, huge uh, theater. 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 Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then Wanda Group also bought the, uh, which company? The AMC. AMC. Mm -hmm. So all the theaters, in, like in in North US, America. in North yeah. US, mm -hmm. and also they bought the Legendary Entertainment, mm -hmm. which they it's a video production company. You've seen it. They produced mm -hmm. uh, Dark Knight trilogy, the Inception. Jurassic. I think, yeah, Jurassic World, World, I believe. World, yeah. So you've seen their films, obviously. So they're doing that, but I think from a business model point of view, it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. because they know, I don't know if you know this, if you're watching this, unlike North America, in China, the types of film being uh, allowed mm -hmm. to play in theaters are very limited. Mm -hmm. I think every year they only allow a certain amount, I forgot the exact number, but- I think it was around, 50 to 60. 50, less than, 60. Less than 100 for sure. Yeah, 50, 60 foreign films. Yeah, I think maybe five years ago it was only 20 to 30. Yeah, foreign films being played in China. That's include US, include Europe, all the countries. All the countries. Japan, yes. Korea, all the countries. So just imagine if you are in Hollywood, you're making movies, and you know, okay, this new movie is going to make X $200 million in, in North America, but probably they can make another two, three hundred million dollars or more from China. So that becomes think, a very important yeah, market. Yeah, I think right? also goes back to why. You know, I think ten years ago, Chinese mm. was known for watching. You know, the kind of like not the what's that the, the movie they're watching at home basically dramas you know, drama. They yeah. No, they can download the the, the oh, source, okay. right? They, right? They don't watch. They don't go like to the illegal theater. download. Yeah, yeah. To, to torn type. Yeah. But now the newer generation now they have more money. And they don't mind going out there spending exactly. money. So it's more become a kind of like a routine. Like you know nowadays, like uh, it's a social people, thing. Dating, dating whatever, social, with friends, mm -hmm. like, dinner. Let's go watch a movie. Yeah. So that's why those kind of movie theater just start booming, and then the building the big ones, very very nice theaters in every city, and then the young generation that go support the movie. So it's very very easy with that population. They can make a lot of money with mm -hmm. the movie. That's mm -hmm. why everything got just started, and then, of course the Hollywood see the big potential there. They're gonna take a piece. But also goes back to like Wanda Group and, and also Ali Alibaba, right? Mm -hmm. They went from you can say more traditional industries, right? Yeah. Products or real estate to but Alibaba now, is not. Alibaba yeah, Alibaba is not. Yeah. yeah. But now more e-commerce, yeah. but more to now intellectual property, right? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a different industry. I think it's also a way for them to diversify their portfolio, yeah. right? Yeah. And know that mm -hmm. and if you think about it from, from their point of view, if they control all this from Wanda, control all the theaters in US and they can produce a movie that they know is going to sell. Mm -hmm. They know they can sell it well in the US and it will sell well in China. Yeah. And if they can get some kind of sponsorship, mm -hmm. advertising money oh, from yeah. that, it's guaranteed to make money. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Like it's almost guaranteed to make money. Right? And from the Westerners' point of view, let's say somebody in Canada or the United States or Australia, mm -hmm. you know, they're watching these blockbusters. And to some degree, I think there are some people that really want to preserve and yes. respect the art of film. Yes. So when they see sponsorships on all these logos, <laughs> like awkward sponsorships. It, it's a bit of a talk it's a bit of a turn off, yes. right? Especially some scenes it's just not done tactfully. Yeah. No. Not yeah. tactfully at all. It's in your Come face. on Michael Bay, you can you do know, better than that. Pick up this drink and drink it slowly for about five seconds. You know, it's yeah. very obvious. So for some people they're like, oh man, that really ruined that film for me, right? Yeah. But at the same time, you know, if you want to see a big blockbuster, you want to see the effects, you want to see all these cool stuff, mm. where is the money going to come from? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And all these Chinese companies, they are willing to fund these movies, right? Yes. So then there's your trade-off. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think also, not just the, forget, not just the money aspect, mm -hmm. but I think from a culture perspective, you know, many, many years ago, you don't see as, many inf as much influence. Mm -hmm. But now you can see even directors, right? Yes. Life of Pi. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So and Lee. And Lee, right? Lee. So you have a, a amazing directors mm -hmm. from Hong Kong, right? Maybe later on from China. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of collaboration to be done. There's yeah. a lot of like uh, second generation Chinese yes. kind of, uh, movie 
director. I do think long term is better for the industry because mm -hmm. everybody gets to share the culture and just make better movies, better entertainment mm -hmm. for, yes. for everybody. Mm -hmm. And not just big picture, even YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like smaller production. Yeah. Yes, uh, Wong Fu production. Wong Fu production. Very popular. Um, you know, they I'm recently, a Chinese too, I'm making YouTube video, right? <laughs> yes, and Wong Fu recently produced uh, you know, their parody version of The Bachelorette. Yes. So this is the funny version. Funny as hell. They made yes. every single contestant on the show, uh, you know, the, the, the woman, the female, the one single Bachelorette is Caucasian, but all the other contestants are Asians. And <laughs> it's funny because they would start out, you know, saying, the, the, the girl would say, I noticed something is very different about these contestants. <laughs> They're all freaking Chinese, yes. <laughs> and there was, I believe there was one Caucasian guy and they made it really funny and he would complain, it's like, hey guys, I don't even feel like I'm getting any air time. And when he says air, it, he gets cut off. <laughs> so then they just kind of made him like more non-existent and it's really just another way to kind of poke fun at the current industry that uh, the, st the status is at right now where mm. there isn't a lot of Asian actors and actresses you know, in the industry. Right, and for them to make something like that, it's to you know create some entertainment for us mm. as viewers, but also same time to kind of make a statement about that mm. in a in a funny way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what your point of view? Maybe when was the last time you watched a movie and you saw the kind of the China influence? Maybe the last movie you watched, maybe the movie you watched a month ago, maybe even on Netflix. Comment below and share with us, and also share with us. What, where do you think this is going? This is just our perspective. This is where we see is happening, how China is influencing Hollywood. But share with us your perspective. Don't forget, click on the subscribe below, click on the bell, turn on notification, so you, get all the, you can see all the future videos. If you want to watch other Decode China videos, check it out on the left side. Check on the left side. We upload new videos every single week. Every single week. You don't want to miss that. I'll see you in the next episode.